What is up guys, Austin Richo here, back again doing another Lego set and again continue on with the Lego sets that I got for Christmas with a Lego Harry Potter set this time. So I got three Lego Harry Potter sets, so you'll be seeing them over the next couple weeks or whatever I can have the time to actually get them built. But this is by far the biggest one and it is the Hogwarts Great Hall set. So it's set 75954 and of course the Great Hall. So as you can see we've got the Great Hall here in one of the towers, of course like the main big tower of Gryffindor Tower there. And so, or the tower with Gryffindor tower maybe I don't know what they're considering these different parts but the way they're built but as you can see we got all sorts of different characters and fun little stuff to do so I don't know if you can see me yeah probably maybe not but down here we have Hagrid, Nearly Headless Nick, Professor Quirrell, Professor McGonagall, Dumbledore, Malfoy, uh, Susan Bones, I thought that was Ginny for a second, but for some reason they threw Susan Bones in there. Hermione, Harry, Ron, and then we got some different characters like Fox and uh, the Basilisk. And then we think we even got characters, I think I see like Hedgewig up here, and then Scabbers in Ron's hand. So just all sorts of different little stuff, and we'll take a look at the back here. And you can see more of like what the castle build is going to look like. So we got the great hall in here. So we got, you know, all sorts of different stuff. The tables and everything that you see. Then over in the actual tower, we got some different stuff like the mirror of air set and different fun little things. That, um, different little scenes from the movie and stuff that they threw in there. And then at the top up here, you can also see we have 75953, seven, which I will be doing probably in the next episode that you see because I got both of those. And so I'll be putting them together to do this big castle. So I'll build this set and then I'll do the the next video of building that set and then in that video we'll put the sets together and everything so that'll be fun and cool to see the big bigger set than what it is obviously to me with this set is perfect they shrunk everything down as much as they could to get by as much like different little stuff in i wish there was more spread out of course i wish the set was huge and it'd be cool to get that you know like 400 dollar hogwarts set just because you get like all of hogwarts and different little stuff uh, scenes and everything which would be fun but unfortunately this is the only thing that I can afford and get so this will be fun to get into um, so I'm going to do a build of course you'll see the time lapse of me building it so hopefully um, I get everything good and it um, works out okay sometimes I have issues with the time lapse and stuff so I hope you enjoy that and then we'll bring it back to the end and look at all all built and look at all the different sets and characters and stuff so that'll be fun to see it all so let's go ahead and get into it
and it is now complete so you can see we've got the great hall and all the figures here so we're gonna go ahead and look through each of it I think this set was super fun and cool and I just really love this set of course and so let's go ahead and look at each of the minifigures real quick we'll run through them all we'll start off of course with Harry so we have Harry here of course with his lightning bolt scar his messed up shaggy brown hair his eyes which are supposed to be I think blue or something blue or green I can't remember which color it is like his mother's uh but obviously for Legos, they're just black eyes. And then he's got his Gryffindor outfit on. So he's got just his like sweater vest, his Gryffindor color of uh, gold and maroon, I think. Or I don't know exactly the color. If it's maroon, burgundy, red, whatever. It's a reddish color uh, and gold or yellow there. So in the tie, you can see the band on his arm. And then, of course, his little legs. I like how they give all the characters now these little legs for like smaller people or kids and stuff and then of course he has a wand there and so that's really for hair of course they all have double-sided faces and most of them at least all have double-sided faces so there's a worried face for harry um but i just go with the calm and cool collective harry right there in front so there's the harry and then we've got ron of course so wrong here so this was i believe more from I want to say like the second year maybe, so where his hair is kind of getting a little bit longer and shaggier, but you know, it's hard to tell with these figures. Same outfit as Harry and a wand, but different color. It's a lighter brown color of wand. And then of course, his has got a worried face as he would have because Ron gets worried and scared all the time. So that kind of fits along with him. Then we've got Hermione here. So of course she's got her shag. It's supposed to be, you know, very curly brown hair, but this time it just looks, you know, kind of puffy, like it's been uh, curled or something to make it look like that. Then, of course, her face there, same outfit again, is same as the boys. Then another color of one, so it's like a tan color there. And then for her other face, we have a, kind of a scared face as well for Hermione there. And then we've got Draco, which, of course, is a Slytherin, so he's got a different color outfit of the silver and r green so that's what their colors are there. You can see the tie and, of course, the band there along the bottom of the sweater. The easiest face, of course, is slicked back bleach blonde hair, as you can see. And then he's got a wand there as well. And then his additional face is there, like an angry, evil face where he's mad and trying to fight and pick on Harry and everything. So that kind of fits well with his face for Draco there. Then we got what I thought was supposed to be Ginny and the way she is on the box and stuff. I thought this was just going to be Ginny. But it turns out it's Susan Bones, which is kind of weird that they threw her in here. And I guess I didn't really pay attention to her outfit colors to make that connection. But it is Susan Bones, which the only real thing is if you saw the Harry Potter movies, she was the first person called up to be uh, sorted by the sorting hat. So there we got Susan Bones and she's in Hufflepuff here. So she's red and or yellow and black, sorry, are the colors of her tie and the band there. And then she's got a dark black wand there. Um, so it's kind of new and interesting. And for, let's see if she has another face on her or not. If I can get her hair off, there it is. Yeah, it's kind of like a sad or worried face there. For, of course, where she's chosen to be first for the sword hat. She's all worried and scared. So it's weird they threw her in there. Um, I thought Jenny would be better, especially with like the Basilisk that we have. But for some reason, they threw Susan Bones in there as well. Then we'll go on to the like, teacher stuff. So first off, we got Hagrid, of course, Keeper of Keys and Games at Hogwarts. So here we've got Hagrid, as you see from, you know, uh, the Sorcerer's Stone. So he's got his umbrella there, which of course is supposed to be secretly has his wand hidden inside of it, and that's what he uses to do spells. And then he's got a lantern here to be able to greet the kids as they come off the boat or off the Hogwarts Express and then takes them on the boat and stuff for the first years to Hogwarts. So you can see he's got a face here. So it's all one molded sculpt of his uh, beard and hair there. So it's all one thing together. You can see his face there. He's kind of like got a wrinkly type face um, and just kind of got like a little grimace to it or whatever so you just put, pop that on and then he's got this big uh, sculpted body here so it's just a pre-done sculpt it's not pieces that attach just one thing then the arms po uh, pop in to it as well and then he's got the normal little feet down here at the bottom that are supposed to be his boots on normal character there the whole legs and feet and stuff but on him it's just his boots so that's kind of funny so we'll sit him aside then of course we've got albus dumbledore or professor dumbledore whatever you want to call him on the box he's labeled as albus but it's whatever. Um, so here we've got, of course, Old Man Dumbledore with his moon rim spect or half moon spectacles there, as you can kind of see in there on his face. And of course, his long gray hair, his long gray beard, which of course is just attached. But I hate these things. I like the Hagrid, how it's all one 
moldy piece together, but they just do this separately for the beards. And then his outfit of his red color outfit, and it looks like he's got, it looks to be brown in the picture here. Usually it's like a purple or something, but a uh, design here with all sorts of little swirls and stuff on it. It's hard to see under his beard though, and I can't get it stuck down on there. Now I was going to see what's under his beard there for a design, but it just looks like a, a similar thing. Um, continue on the back with what looks to be part of the hood there on the back, and then of course he's got the light tan uh, wand as well, for course, which is the elder one for Dumbledore, so we've got Dumbledore there. Then we've got Professor McGonagall, of course, Minerva McGonagall, and so she's in her emerald green outfit, which fits so well with how she's described from the books and translated into the movies and stuff. So she's got her emerald green outfit on again with swirls and leaf designs on her, uh, what looks to be, I assume, a cloak, um, but then she's got green pants and a green shirt um, as well, and then, of course, a necklace piece there. She has a black wand as well, then, of course, she has a witch hat there, an all-black witch hat of the Lego piece. And she also has an additional face on the back that's covered up by the hat. But there you can see she's just kind of a angry or not amused look, probably when the kids get up to stuff. And then, of course, we've got Professor Quirrell, who turns out to be a bad guy, and we'll see in a second. So we have Professor Quirrell with his purple turban on his head, and then, of course, part of the turban coming down around on his outfit. He's just got a black suit on. He's got a blue tie and then a wand there. And then if we switch around to the back and take the turban off, we reveal, oh, it's the face of Voldemort. So there we got Voldemort's face on the back of Quirrell, which is always cool and fun to have on Quirrell. So that's fun there. And, of course, a wand as well for Professor Quirrell. Then we've got Nearly Headless Nick here. So he's obviously the ghost and the ghost of Gryffindor House. Nearly Headless Nick or Sir Nicholas as he prefers. And you can see his face there. And I think, yeah, he's got a sad face on the back. And his, of course, his weird old man hair there. And you can obviously pop, well, if it wouldn't stick so well, you can pop his head off. And then you can get Nearly Headless Nick there. He's Nearly Headless. Um, but that's kind of fun. But yeah, just a guy. And of course, he's an old timey. Um, outfit there, like medieval outfit type design. I don't know what you'd call it, but yeah, it's just a really old school design there for a nearly headless Nick. And then we go into the creatures where first off, of course, we've got Hedwig here, the snowy white owl, and so it's just an all white owl. You can see the face there with the beak and everything, and you can just obviously sit in on stuff with the peg or whatever for Hedwig there. And then we've got Scabbers, Ron's rat, or it turns out to be Peter Pettigrew. But we got the little rat there, which is a nice little fun sculpted creature and everything of the rat. And then we've got the basilisk, at least I assume that's what this is to be from the box. That's what it looks like, because I don't know. The only other thing could be would be Nagini, but we don't have Voldemort in it. Um, on the back it shows Fox fighting with uh, the basilisk and everything, which is what happens in Chamber of Secrets. So I assume that's what this is supposed to be. It's pretty just cheap and lousy like snake design. It's just, you know bunch of lego pieces put together and then the face head of a snake with you know the fangs and you can see it's yellow eyes in there so it's not like the best design creature or anything but it's you know just whatever it can be for the design of the basilisk so we'll move that aside there so now we'll look at the actual castle we'll start off with the outside here where of course we have one of the boats that brings the first years into hogwarts so we have a boat with a lantern on it so just a nice little boat you can stick characters in and then from here so it's obviously supposed to be hogwarts and like especially the great hall since that's what this is shrunken down so down here we have what's would supposed to be like the boathouse or the docks obviously the boat comes up here and lands and then they can come off into things so we have the courtyard out here outside of the great um hall then of course we have the big giant front doors a clock which usually the clock is in the like um i think it's um transfiguration courtyard but they put a clock here just for design and everything there so then obviously you have another little section off of of course the courtyard that goes off into the tower here which usually you know if this is supposed to be the main tower, which has, of course, the grand staircase and everything that's in a, you know, off inside the door. But I think that's supposed to be the additional piece of the courtyard that goes off into the next other section of the uh, Hogwarts. So here we have the Great Hall. So, of course, we have all the windows here. So you can see all the bunch of different windows, which these were... You had to build each one of these, which you know, was not very fun. But um, I think it looks really cool with that sort of design. And then we have the roof and everything with all these sort of spikes and everything going along. I think it looks really nice and cool. And you have the roof that can lift up a little bit. Um, of course, there's not much to see, but you can 
just lift it up. I think that's, you know, not really much for anything, but it can lift up just a little. Like I had it for a second. There you go. It can lift it up just a little bit. It doesn't really do much of anything. Then the back, we've got, of course, the side of the Great Hall here, where, of course, the teachers sit right in front of this giant window here and everything, so that looks nice. Then we'll look on the inside of the Great Hall. So here we've got the Great Hall. So we have the teacher's table here with Dumbledore's chair, which I like the way it's designed there with the back and everything, making it look like Dumbledore's chair that he sits in. There's a big giant chalice there on the back of seal of the window. Of course, the table with cups and everything. Then we have the fireplace there, of course, that's in the Great Hall, and then a bunch of different tables. So all the different tables for each of the different houses, and we have little desserts and stuff. So we have like a cupcake, a piece of chicken leg, another dessert, and some tea. There's some brooms there that, of course, the kids can fly around on. We've got the floating candles here that are in the... Um, uh, enchanted ceiling of the Great Hall. Then we have flags here, so we have Slytherin, and then you can flip it around to Ravenclaw for that side, and then Gryffindor and Hufflepuff there. Oops, there we go. So, so we got all that in there, and not really much to look at beyond there. It's nice to see, you know, the outside lines look like the windows and everything that you see in the Great Hall. It looks uh, really nice. I, like I said, I wish this was bigger scaled, so more properly to scale and everything, because, you know, you just have, like, one little line here and one line in between each of the tables and chairs and everything. So it doesn't fit all very well, but it's, it still looks really nice, and I really enjoy the look of this overall. It just looks really nice, and a lot like the Great Hall overall. And now we'll look at the tower here, so we'll start off with the bottom. Of course, you can come in through the doorway there, and then there's a little uh, table there with a frog on it. I don't know what the yellow or gold frog is supposed to be, but it's there. Then we have a staircase, which I assume is supposed to be, you know, kind of like a secret staircase or something, but it can close up together, and then you can obviously pull it and open up the staircase all the way to the top to be able to get up into the next level where we go to the first level where I assume it's maybe supposed to be a potions class or something because there's some potion bottles here on the table, a glass, a cauldron with some uh, red crystals in it, I don't know what it's supposed to represent, then we have a big cauldron with green crystals that have fallen over inside of there. Um, but yeah, again, I don't know exactly what this is, place is supposed to, any of this is supposed to be just random rooms and stuff I assume. Then next up, we've got a room here. So we have the sorting hat, which I do like the sorting hat. So that's something else we can look at. It's kind of stuck on the thing. But there they even got put the face type design. So the eyes and the mouth and everything there for the sorting hat. So you can obviously take these and sit them on top of Harry's head or whatever you want to do. There is a spider here. And then there is also a chest full of jewels, which for some reason we can't get the door. I assume by the way it's placed, you can easily pop it off. Yeah. And then it's just a chest full of jewels different color jewels and stuff. Red one, which could be the Sorcerer's Stone or something. Um, but again, no real explanation of what these rooms are. Just different things there. And then if... Wish I could have to adjust the camera real quick. And I got the camera up as much as I could, but up here at the very tip top of the tower, we do have the mirror of Erised, um, which we can look at here. I'll go ahead and pull it off so you can see. There we've got Harry and his parents as he sees it on the, in the mirror, and then if we can flip it around, which you can pop these little um, pieces out and then switch them to whatever you want. So on the other side, you can switch over to Dumbledore, who's got two pair of socks there. I don't know why he's got socks, but he does in his, I guess, dream or whatever. And then we also have additional... Uh, mirror we can put in of there of Ron holding the uh, house cup and of course winning Quidditch and, and a Quidditch outfit and everything like he dreams and then we've got Professor Quirrell there holding the Sorcerer Stone the Red Sorcerer Stone so you can switch those out as well if you wanted to but we can uh, pick it up and there you can see the mirror or the, the design of the mirror so you can see the writing along the sides and everything and even at the top it says Air said there. And then uh, behind that, we do have a little perch here for Fox. I don't know if this is supposed to be part of, like, Dumbledore's uh, room or something. I don't know why everything sticks to these pegs. I can't get it. I can't get Fox off of the peg. Oh, it's all pulling the whole thing off. There we go. So there's the Phoenix of Fox here. I really like the design. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly like a bird or anything, but I do think it looks pretty fun. So there's the feet, obviously, the beak and the head of Fox, and then his tail and wings and everything, which you can, you know, kind of... Oh, I thought you could, yeah, twist along there to make it look more, I guess, a bird-like design. The tail is just getting in the way. There you go. So you can move the wings a little bit and stuff. So it's all sorts of fun little things. But, it, yeah, Fox just kind of sits up here in the perch behind the mirror of Arisad there, which, again, looks uh, is pretty fun and a nice piece and everything. So there is all of the inside of the Hogwarts castle there and the Great Hall. 
And so, again, I really enjoy this and like this a lot, and I can't wait to get the next piece. So, as I mentioned before, at the beginning of the video, I will be doing the next set that goes on and attaches over here. So, I'll be building that and doing that video, and then at the very end, I will attach it onto this piece so we can see the whole entire thing. Um, so, that was, again, a pretty fun set of the Hogwarts Great Hall. Again, set 75954, and I just really enjoy it with getting the Hogwarts Castle, and then, of course, all these different characters here that I can't really get pushed up there to fit into the frame and everything of course the basilisk and the boat as well so that's it for this episode of the lego harry potter build i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you want to see more builds of lego sets here and of course i play lego harry potter collection so the lego game for it playing through all the um uh, gears of harry potter i'm currently just started year three which i think will be up on the channel this week um, so if you want to see that, go ahead and check that out as well. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.